Please help me welcome John Singleton. I've made nine movies uh, as a director. I produced two, success, uh, two independent films. Uh, one of them was wildly, wildly uh, commercially and critically successful um, and garnered uh, two Oscar nominations, winning one. And um, I still ended up getting fucked by the studio. So I guess that that kind of does make me an independent filmmaker, if only independently minded. We're all in this whole thing of trying to get our vision out to the world. And there's no uh, paradigm set in stone to how to do that. You know, and I always feel that it's kind of like a artist of any type should be like the jazz musicians were, where they interact with each other and share ideas and share concepts and, and share information about how to get to the next level. I, I knew in the back of my mind um, that I would probably be an independent filmmaker because for what I wanted to do and the definition of what I wanted to do at the time was there was no real, real precedent for anybody sustaining a career like that. So I had to just, um, I had to just think in terms of like, I'm gonna learn how to make films, initially write them and make them myself. Whenever I come to these things and I speak at them and I, I uh, and take part of them, I'm always reminded of when I was first starting and how I was so eager and excited to get into the business and I was trying to navigate it and I didn't know how to do it and stuff, right? I still was interning on the Columbia lot, uh, Burbank Studios, um, and I was going around and I would say, you know, hey, you know, I'm a, you know, I, I'm in film school and I'm aspiring to be a director and everybody laughed at me and everything, but I would go and pitch this movie, this little movie, and, um, you know, um, the script fell in the hands of Stephanie Elaine, who was here uh, this evening, who works with Film Independent, and she went to, to her peers and stuff, and she jumped on tables and said, we gotta make this movie, this is what's happening now. You know, she was, a, she was, she was the type of executive that doesn't really exist anymore because she had an opinion, and, and she put her nose to what was going on out in the world, and she was like, this is not being reflected in, in film right now, and this is, I think we should do this. I don't know how many people are, are black and from LA here now, right? But I have this saying where um, a lot of young black men in LA, even if they're small, you know, they can be the smallest dude, because in our neighborhoods, we were most afraid of the smallest dude on the block, because he, he just had no fucking fear, right? <laughs> right, you know. Um, the small guys, they puff their chests out so big to make themselves bigger, right? You know what I mean? Like, dudes that are like six something, they'd be like, I'm not gonna fuck with little Chris, right? <laughs> and so, that's the way, that's the way you have to be in Hollywood. You have to be like, you know, like, this, what I'm doing is the shit. You know, I see this on the faces of all these people that I meet, you know, the hunger and the, the, the passion and the zeal to actually get their, their visions out to the world. And, uh, and I still respect that. Nobody cares about your little movie, okay? And I want to say that to all of you, nobody cares about your little movie. You have to care about your little movie. If no one else, it's like one of those things where like um, a self-esteem builder, you look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, like, you know, I care about my little movie, no matter what kind of vision, no matter what kind of um, thing you're coming from. Make it or shoot it, and don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's my advice. <laughs> <laughs>